Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to A Late Gamer. I'm your host, A Late Gamer. Today, we are tackling the world of Final Fantasy. We are diving into Final Fantasy VII Remake. Officially, right now, this is part one of three. I am very hyped to jump into this game. Let's get into it. So jumping right into this, we are going to start off with the additions in pricing in 2022. So this game comes in a couple of different forms. Uh, right now there is a next gen update for it. So if you are one of the uh, lucky people to have a PS5 right now, highly recommend getting the PS5 version. Uh, but in the case that you still have a PS4, all of this is available on the PS4 currently. And uh, it's really good if you have a PS4 Pro. I'm not sure how it is on a base PS4, but uh, I have a PS4 Pro and originally started the game uh, on the Pro and actually ended up finishing it on the PS5. So that was really cool. Um, but getting into this, there are three editions of this game. You have the base game, the deluxe edition, and the first class edition. Uh, and then obviously more recently with the integrated DLC, you have an uh, a integrated version uh, of the game, which you can actually get uh, in a uh, Steelbook edition if you purchase the, the PS5 version as a uh, pre-order bonus. And just to kind of go through the trophies right now, the difficulty specific, uh, even for me, was the hardened veteran, the master of Mimicry, the that's the smell, ultimate weapon, dress to the nines, and disc jockey and music collector. Um, those were the ones that kind of, at the end of the game, I was like, all right, these are gonna take some guides and a little bit of uh, figuring out how they work. Just to get into the grind and specific, very specific difficulty trophies, um, I would definitely start with the collectible trophies first, then go into the grind trophies, uh, just because those two uh, are really easy to just knock out pretty quickly uh, once, once you know. The disc jockey is super easy. I will attach a link to another YouTube video in below, the one that I used to figure out where all the hidden discs were. Some of them I found pretty easily, but some of them I missed. And so this is kind of going to be one of those videos if you got to the end of the game and you're still trying to find really good guides or you're not sure where to look, I'm gonna put links in below. Uh, to what I use that helped me figure out how to beat these different objectives. Uh, and then moving right along, Dress to the Nines. This is a grind one. You have to do specific things, and it's chapter three, I think. Uh, and basically you have to go through s several chapters in each storyline in order to get each dress. And between Cloud, Tifa, and Aerith, each of them have three dresses that they can wear during the game. And in order to get those dresses, you have to meet certain requirements and you have to say certain things, do certain things in order for those dresses to be worn. So I will attach a, a description slash YouTube video. Uh, and this will be for post game. Highly recommend it post game, just because it's easier to do and you also unlock chapter select at the end of the game. Moving right along. Last but not least, we have the um, very difficult trophy. You've got the Master of Mimicry, which that's super easy to do. I would tackle that one first. Uh, once you have the Mimicry um, uh, materia, uh, I didn't realize this, but this that materia copies enemy abilities. And had I known that at the beginning of the game, I would have used that way more. Um, I basically tried to tank my way through the entire game. Uh, and so that was something. Um, ultimate weapon, I'm going to leave another guide uh, in the description of this video. And so definitely follow their builds. That helped me. Also put your own spin on it because 
uh, you know, what works for one person might not work for somebody else. It took me several tries, if I remember correctly, to defeat the ultimate weapon uh, and just figure out my playing style with also the other person's playing style and the combat system, which was super new uh, to me anyway, and I'm sure a lot of people too, just because we're used to that turn-based Final Fantasy, um, whereas this is very much like, let's go. Now, jumping into Integrade, um, these trophies are as follows. Uh, you've got the story trophies, Out of Darkness is Clutches, takes two IDs to Tango, uh, the difficulty trophies, which are the Condor Queen, Corruption of the Immac Corruptor of the Immaculate, excuse me, the Road to Revenge, Ultimate Weapon 2.0, Collectible is Turtle Tastic, and Missable is Condor Queen, Game Set Master, Materia Maven, and Turtle Tastic. Um, so going into these trophies a little bit in depth, uh, the story trophies obviously involve just completing the two main chapters of this, if I remember correctly. The difficulty trophies, definitely the Condor Queen. Uh, it's a lot of fun once you figure out how to play that mini game. I didn't think I would like tower defense games until I played this and I was like, all right, I can get behind this. Um, Corruptor of the Immaculate took me so long but I didn't give up. There's a very specific way you have to do it. Uh, I'm really proud of myself for getting this trophy, mainly because at the time that I got it, I was playing my PS5 via remote play. Uh, and so I was on vacation several states away from my PS5, and I've not had the best luck when it comes to remote play. So when I was able to not only get that trophy, but also having remote play work, it was just a very cool moment. I was like, I cannot wait to tell other people about this trophy. This is that moment. Thank you, PS5 Remote Play for working during that time. Um, and the Ultimate Weapon 2.0. If I remember correctly, the Ultimate Weapon 2.0 was not as difficult as Corruptor of the Immaculate. Corruptor of the Immaculate was by far the most difficult. Um, and then uh, obviously the ones that you have to collect are the Turtle Tastic. Uh, and there was one with the boxes. I'm pretty sure that's the one uh, that is either, let's see, I wanna say it's Game Set Master. Let's see. Is that one? No. Materia Maven, that one also was one that you had to just, you had to kind of figure out Yuffie's playing style and then obviously your style. And that one takes a little bit of work, but keep at it. The thing I've learned with Square's mini games is that they're meant to be played multiple times until you get the desired result. So don't give up on them, keep grinding, and eventually you will get the either desired time if it's a time attack, uh, or if you are trying to get a certain thing to appear. Keep at it, you're gonna do it. Use this as your guide to go back. Let's keep going. And now to wrap things up, so, final answer. You can 100% this game as of right now in 2022. All the trophies are very attainable. Um, if you want both the trophies for the PS4 and the PS5 version, start on the PS4 and then import your save into the PS5. Uh, if you just get the PS5 version, don't worry about it. The trophy thing will not pop up for you. Um, I found that as soon as you put a disc in, uh, the all the trophies populate. Uh, so if you have a PS3 version of the game, you gotta go back and get those trophies for it. I have a PS3 luckily, so I'll be tackling some of those games down the line. But as of right now, we're tackling this. Um, definitely check out those guides that I will put below for the Ultimate Weapon 2.0, Corruptor of the Immaculate, and Materia Maven. Uh, those saved me. Uh, and with obviously more of the DLC side of things with those time attack uh, games or the Corruptor of the Immaculate, don't give up on them. Just keep doing it. Uh, Corruptor of the Immaculate will take some timing and really using those different combo attacks with, uh, but it is definitely doable. It's just gonna take some time and just learning the way that the boss fights. Uh, but keep it up. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for me today. Final answer, you can't 100% this game. 
uh, right now and most likely in the future if you are watching this a long time from now. I'm your host, LA Gamer. If you enjoyed this video today, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. If not, feel free to leave a dislike. Let me know if you have any of these trophies, if you were able to easily 100% it or not, and which trophies are you still working on if you're not able to. Uh, I'm more than happy to help anybody if they are struggling. Please let me know that is what this video is for. Uh, and let me know what games you want to see me do in the future. I'm building a massive back catalog as you can tell from back here however uh the games are continually being conquered i actually ran out of games i started a new series not super long ago can't say what it is just yet but i'm very excited to keep this series up and i will see you all in the next one